I say it's mad. I have some friends from the kitchen. Coming up, please. Merry Christmas. Coming up, please. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Coming up, please. Merry Christmas, Tommy Atkins. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Merry Christmas, Tommy Atkins. Merry Christmas. Seven hours this evening. 
We will be having all a peaceful Christmas if you agree. Ceasing greetings, friends.
Of course, my love, it warmed my heart to see the men entertain themselves. Whoever are the real enemies, it is not these men who put up with the cold and the wet and the mud, the bullets and the bombs. But imagine my position, my love. I had to report to HQ at midnight. Should I allow the men to party with the enemy, what would I tell the general?
love and peace. That's easy. Take the rest of the day off. Business as usual tomorrow.
The disapproving German corporal went on to be awarded the Iron Cross. After the war, he had an unsuccessful career as an artist, and then went on to try his hand at writing, and later at politics. <laughs> Captain Edward Hulse never did get married in the spring. He never saw Laura again. He was killed in action on the Western Front, February 1915. Laura was just one of the generation of women of whom many hundreds of thousands never married. For many, this was because so many men of their generation had died in the war, and there were not enough to go around. For some, it was the memory of the love staying in the The Christmas truce was not repeated. The Great War went on to claim almost 40 million lives worldwide. Even in the face of inhuman political and economic forces that can bring such destruction, the story of the Christmas truce stands as a monument to the enduring humanity of individuals and the abiding power of Christmas to inspire higher and better things. <laughs>